93 minutes and 42 seconds on the clock when Shadley put the ball into the back of the net to send Belgium through to meet Brazil in the quarterfinals. Um, an incredible finish to the match. And I, I wonder what it's like to be from Japan because there's a sense of disbelief around the studio here, Richard. A stunning way for the thing to finish. And Japan, oh, they just really... Oh, they gifted the opportunity to Belgium to, to score that goal. Incredible. Incredible decision by Honda to take the corner in like that. We had a game against Italy with Ireland and we made a similar mistake. We, we gave away a goal in the last minute and Trapattoni was going mental for it for years after it. And that's something that he'll have to live with now for, for a long time. And such a shame because they performed brilliantly throughout the whole game and got themselves into a fantastic position. And then, yeah, they just, uh, I suppose, the physicality more than that and outdone them in the end. And, I can't even imagine what they're feeling now at the yeah. moment. They're so close, but yet yeah, now they've made that one error and that's that's it, the end of the dream for them. Like, Didi, there's so many issues with Belgium. We'll talk about those as we go forward. But look, the, the story tonight is about Japan and how close they came. Brilliant effort and uh, they fought, they, they played. And for a long time, it looked like they're going to progress. Um, I just don't understand because the Japanese are very disciplined and hard working and they from a young age they're told what to do but I think in a situation like this you've got to ask the referee first and foremost how long is to play I think it was about 20 seconds 30 seconds mm. on the clock you take a short corner and if you want to kick it out for a throw and you go back and you play extra time now to have a situation where you take a corner where you've got four or five players in the box and you get counter-attacked 5v2 or 5v3 it's just is unacceptable and and this is where you need players who take responsibility this is where Hazebi we highlighted him before he's got to say listen lads to go forward we leave five, four or five people at the back because the last thing we want to if we score great but we won't concede and we go to extra time and uh, do a feel for them yes in a way they do but if you concede a goal in the last minute like that um, it just baffles me at, yeah. at the world stage because they gave away a golden opportunity to play extra time uh, and maybe book a place in the last eight yeah. But what's your take on what we've just witnessed, Liam? Well, first of all, I got to wipe the egg off my face because they were absolutely magnificent. I didn't think they had a chance before the game, but, you know, they're so upset. Uh, did his right. Honda, you've got Courtois, six foot seven. You know, he, he took a chance with the free kick from distance and he hit a great free kick, didn't he? And he got the corner and that should have been it. But what I have to say, Darius, what a World Cup this is, yeah. you know. The drama that we've seen unfold over the last two and a half weeks has been quite incredible. Uh, and this was a, a game to put up with any World Cup game you'd see. I thought Belgium were lax, they were, they were casual, um, but I did say that they had a bench that they could go to, and that's what happened. You know, Fellaini coming on, Richard said that the physicality was won them the day in the end and Fellaini and Chadley, you know, their their strength and their power in the air. Uh, but you have to feel sorry for the Japanese and as Richard said, Honda will be, you know, I think Thierry Henry there is, 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 is applauding the Japanese team. They got out of jail, Belgium, in a big, big way.